welcome back in today's video we are going to learn how to make the plural of the verb to be we've learned the singular from the verb to be in Macedonian that was yas sum ti si toi ta toa e okay. yas sum doma that means I'm at home okay but there is also one way more to to say this if I want to uh, say it without using the personal pronoun I can just say doma sum this um, kind this type of um, sentence is usually used as an answer to the question where are you okay so if we ask someone where are you we should say kade si okay kade si ti maybe if you want to use it but we don't need ti because of uh, the verb the uh, verb su si which refers only to second person singular okay so it cannot be used with other person that's why we don't need uh, the personal pronouns so the question is kadesi and the answer can be yasum doma but it's better if we just say doma sum or just doma that's also okay so um we did the singulars and today we are going to talk about the plurals for making the plurals we need the plural shapes of the personal pronouns which i have mentioned before in some other video but we are going to talk about them today also we means nie you second person plural means vie and also that is being used as a formal speech and for third person we are using tie which means they okay so we have nie vie good and now when we use the verb to be we need to change it according to the personal pronoun just like we did with singular for making it um, we need to know the shapes of the verb to be in plural and they are for first person plural we say nie sme Second person plural is vieste, and third person plural is tiese. Okay, so if we want to say we are at home, we will say niesme doma. Okay, or even uh, better, if we are giving an answer, we can say domasme. Okay, then you are is vieste and uh, you are at home vieste doma or domaste and the third person plural tiese doma or domase okay and now if i want to use a um, noun in this type of se uh, sentence for example we we did with the doctor word here we can go on with it uh, so we did I am a doctor you are a doctor and uh, he she is a doctor but what about the plurals what happens in English in uh, with this type of um, sentences is that um, doctor must be used in its plural plural shape right so it becomes doctors it's not uh, we are doctor no uh, you are doctor or they are doctor like i'm referring to the plurals no we cannot use them like that because we are talking about a group of doctors right so that's why we need to use the plural also in the macedonian language for making the plural we've seen the i've made my previous video uh, you can check there how we make the plurals in macedonian so for example for making the plural of uh, the word doctor in Macedonian was doctor uh, because it has two syllables and it's the masculine word we have to add e in the end okay so from doc doctor we have doctori good and now if we want to say we are doctors we will say 
Ние сме доктори. You are doctors. Вие сте доктори. They are doctors. Тие се доктори. Окей? And, окей, if we are talking about you, but as a informal way, окей, that means that we have to use the second person plural. So, if we are talking about you as a one person, but informal way, then we will say вие сте доктор. It's not вие сте доктори. Why? Because we are talking about one person. We are not talking about group of doctors. Okay. So, we have Ja sum doktor. Ti si doktor. Toi e doktor. Or ta e doktor. Maybe doktor ka. Nije sme doktori. Vije ste doktori. Tije se doktori. If we are talking in formal way, we have to say vije ste doktor. Ok? Great. So, this is the basic. How we make the sentence with the to be verb. If we want to make the negative form, we just add ne in front of the verb. Okay, so, jas ne sum doktor or jas ne sum doma. Ti ne si doktor, toj ne e doktor. Be careful here, it's not ne or ne, ne e, ne e. So, there is like an accent, ne e. Toj ne e doma, ta ne e doma. Nije ne sme doma. Vije ne ste doktori, tije ne se doktori. Ok? I mixed up a little bit, just for you to have an example. So you can practice this with almost in, like in every sentence that you can make in English. It's the same in Macedonian. So just think about where else you can use this to be verb, right? So for example, I am a lawyer. I am um, an Italian, I am uh, at work, I am hardworking, I am sleepy, I am uh, very active, I am um, whatever, okay? So in uh, all of these um, sentences we need to use the verb to be. For the last uh, thing that I want to uh, talk about in this video is uh, that we can do um, some examples with um, with words that we already know in English. For example, um, let's say um, super. You know, super, you know that word, but it's not used as the same way in Macedonian. Uh, for example, when you want to say, I am great, you are great, he is great. Okay? In Macedonian, we use the word super. So, for example, um, I am great, I would say, ja sum super. Or super sum, the other way, okay? So, ti si super, toi e super, and it goes like that. Um, toa e super can have two meanings. Uh, the first meaning can be that is great. And the second meaning can be it is great, okay? Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you understand everything. I wish you a very good day and uh, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.